Defense Central attended the 6th Unmanned Systems Exhibition and Conference in Abu Dhabi from the 22nd until the 25th of January, 2024. With nearly 30,000 attendees, it set a new record for the Middle East's only unmanned systems event. While UMEX focused on trends in unmanned aircraft systems, the Simulation Training Exhibition, or SimTex, aimed to enhance education for armed forces. Under the theme, Soaring to New Heights, Impact of New Technologies in the Evolving Unmanned Systems Era, UMEX and SimTex 2024 drew over 500 delegates to the first day conference, with the three-day exhibition attracting more than 130 exhibitors from 35 countries. In today's video, we are exploring some of the most innovative unmanned platforms highlighted at UMEX 2024. Let's dive right in. At this year's edition of UMEX and SimTex, Emirati companies presented cutting-edge technological advancements in unmanned systems, simulation, training, artificial intelligence, and robotics. More than 72 companies and entities from the UAE showcased their latest global innovations. As the strategic partner at UMEX and SimTex 2024, the UAE defense conglomerate Edge Group showcased innovative additions to their portfolio. One of them is the GY300, an unmanned aircraft engineered for short takeoff and landing on challenging terrains. This drone, capable of carrying 300 kilograms, offers a cost-effective and low-maintenance solution. In the land systems category, Edge introduced the Bunker Pro, a high-performance unmanned ground vehicle. This new platform is designed for fully autonomous operations, such as remote surveillance, exploration, convoying, target identification, and outdoor patrols. Another notable unveiling during this year's edition of UMEX was the M-Buggy, a wheeled multi-terrain unmanned ground vehicle incorporating the latest imaging and sensor technology to provide actionable data. UMEX attendees had the opportunity to see the M-Buggy in action during live demonstrations at the ADNEC grandstand area. Eneron, a subsidiary of another UAE-based company called Kintsugi, unveiled a tactical ground vehicle concept at UMAX this year. The reconnaissance vehicle is tailored for defensive operations and reflects Eneron's commitment to autonomous technology, artificial intelligence, and sustainable solutions. Notable features include an advanced front cab structure for improved visibility, three-row seating accommodating six passengers, and a spacious proportioned rear compartment. Now let's turn our attention to unveilings by companies from other countries. Against the backdrop of the Ukrainian war, Turkey's Bayraktar drones played a crucial role. At this year's edition of UMEX, Baikar unveiled the Bayraktar TB3, their latest unmanned combat aerial vehicle, garnering significant attention at the show. The new TB3 has an extended 24-meter wingspan, enhancing the UAV's aerodynamic efficiency and increasing its payload capacity. However, the standout feature of the TB3 is its foldable wings, allowing for versatile operations, particularly on short runway naval platforms like aircraft carriers. The UAV features an upgraded engine, avionics, and control systems, Stay tuned for our full review of this iconic platform. South Korea is another country that had a substantial presence at this year's edition of UMEX. LIG Nex-1, one of Korea's largest defense contractors, showcased the Sea Sword 3, an advanced unmanned Coast Guard patrol boat. Designed for coastal security, this unmanned vessel boasts surveillance and combat capabilities including a remote shooting control system and guided rocket launcher. Using AI, the platform is capable of operating in adverse weather for continuous surveillance. Armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and an 8-cell guided rocket launcher, the Sea Sword 3 features a low radar cross-section monohull made of fiber-reinforced plastic and reaches speeds over 35 knots with two diesel engines. 
Now, let's focus on China's presence at this year's UMEX. With over 50 entities attending, China surpassed both the US and Russia, making it the second largest participant at UMEX, just behind the UAE. China National Aerotechnology Import and Export Corporation, known as CADIC, showcased various unmanned platforms at UMEX. These included the AR-2000 Large Unmanned Helicopter, the AR-36 UAV, and a few versions of Wing Lung UAVs. CADIC announced that it had secured a deal worth $6,260,000 for counter-drone platforms during the show this year. Poly Technologies, based in Beijing, also exhibited aerial drones, torpedoes, and an unmanned helicopter equipped with surveillance capabilities and missiles at their stand. Norinco, represented by the Emirati defense distributor International Golden Group, displayed their Blue Arrow missiles, as well as the BZK-5E male UAV. Russian participation at UMEX was limited, with key players like the drone manufacturer Zala present, although no models were on display. Another booth featured a collaborative effort by Aeromax and ICAR, showcasing unmanned helicopter replicas designed for security and research and rescue missions. The state-owned company Rosoborough Export highlighted their Orlin 10E, Orlin 30, and Orion E reconnaissance and strike UAVs, along with the Cub E loitering munition, all proven in real combat operations. The company also held meetings for cooperation with UAE and other Middle East countries, exploring opportunities for local drone production and collaboration on advanced drone development. Elsewhere at UMEX, Ukrainian company STE showcased the Magura V5 unmanned surface vessel, marking the first public unveiling of the vessel's full-scale model. The Magura V5 stands out for its versatility, capable of various tasks, and features an electric or hybrid propulsion system for stealthy operations. The vessel can be guided manually via a wireless mesh network, satellite communication, or autonomously. So, what do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content coming up soon.